Thank you. Let's see if I could beat this 12 minutes. I doubt it. Uh, by the way, you know, uh, my uh, colleague here painted a picture which is scary. But we always have to remember that we are in the European Union. And here we have laws and legislation for data protection. If you, for example, look at how we are doing online banking, it's slightly different to the way they're doing online banking in US. In US, it's mainly username and password, and that's it. That is why it's easy to steal an account. This is why so much money is generated with cybercrime. We have some, I would say, better methods with uh, transaction numbers, intelligent index transaction numbers, and so on. But it will be a threat as well. But it's not as severe yet as it is in the United States, where millions are somehow virtually printed with cybercrime. But let me talk about Trend Micro first. Uh, Trend Micro is a pretty old company. It has been founded the same year McAfee has been founded. It has been founded in the United States. Nowadays, we are headquartered in Tokyo. We have 2,500 employees. We are present all over the globe. Another global player. And yeah, you could read for yourself about the revenue in 2004. What is our vision? What do we want to do? A vision is something where you are not sure if you could achieve it. And somehow everybody is working on it to create a world safe for exchanging digital information. But look, if we look at the current situation, if we do a reality check, this is something which might not occur in the next 10 to 20 years. This is not something we could solve with software only. This is something where we need government bodies where we need everybody to work on, where we need safer operating systems, safer application, uh, proper IP protocols, and so on. The mission is to ensure continuity against unpredictable, malicious threats. And as we heard this morning, it's never possible to ensure that nothing spreads in your network. You can't solve it completely with firewalls. You can't solve it with IPS. You can't solve it with antivirus. As a matter of fact, a lot of malware writers are checking their creations against antivirus products or against IPS and firewall systems. For example, in Spain, there's a site virustotal.com, and you could send in a file, and within five minutes, it gives you a reply if it's detected by antivirus or not. And we know for sure that these sites are used by malware writers to tune their creations. So something will go through. So what you then have to do, you not only have to protect, you not only have to contain the spreading, you also have to clean up the damage. And this is as important as the other stuff. The strategy is for this